bigger dome is coming. A bigger one is still coming because they are in this fear of the falling world. Their validation is based on dome. They are, and doom. They are building it their in Port They are building it in Port Harcourt. 150,000. Yeah, more than 50,000. Five fingers. Yes, right? five fingers. Another one, is still, another one is still coming. Because they belong to this world. They belong to this world. Their viewpoint is from this falling world. Their validation, their apostolic stewardship is based on what they can do. So when you ask them, how is your ministry? I have this house, I have this dome, I have this car, I have them. Oh my God. Apostolic stewardship in ministry has nothing to do with physical stuff. Okay, what if there's an earthquake and this dome sinks? Do you still have a ministry? Verse 5 said, They speak from the world. These people belong to this world. So they speak from the world's viewpoint and the world listens to them. That's why people matter where they do. Oh, is that a doom? Oh, it's a doom, sir. Okay. They speak from this world point of view. They, that's why their validation is from the physical realm. Their message, the message of the false teachers is, is, is uh, fits well with the prevailing thinking of the world. False prophets focus on essentials, not essence. They focus. Jesus said in Luke 12. I think I have to read that. That's one of my, one of my strong... Luke 12, verse um, 22. Luke 12. Somebody needs to read this today. Luke 12. Sorry for the noise. It's very tough now. Luke 12, verse 22. All right, right there. Jesus speaking here, Luke 12, 22. Then, turning to his disciples, Jesus said, So I tell you, do not worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to eat or clothes to wear, for life consists far more than food and clothing. Jesus wants us to focus on life itself, which is essence, not essentials. All these false prophet focuses on essentials, not essence. That's why somebody can come on stage and cause a life because life does not matter. Because a life spoke against a building in the face of the building, you cost a life. And Jesus said we should focus on life more than essentials. Essence over essentials. You will know who an antichrist is. Somebody who has attained all this in Ukraine and is ready to walk away to start a new life in Nigeria. Who therefore is an antichrist amongst the two? Essence over essentials. These people will focus on essentials. That's why one person did 50,000 sit down, another one did 100, the next one is doing 150. Guess what? Another one will say for 200. And they, they, do you know one funny thing? In the entire New Testament, the only place where you have building that can sit 50,000 people that was recorded in the Bible was in Acts chapter 19 and verse 34 to 35. It was a temple of Hydro. Yep. So the temple of Hydro. Yep. That's the only place you find in the entire New Testament where there's a building that can sit 50,000 people and they were chanting the praise of Diana. Great is Diana. Great is Diana. It's only for Hydro in the entire Bible. So you have an idea where those inspirations are coming from. Because you cannot teach contextually in a crowd. You can't. The way you teach HMT, you can't teach 50,000 people like that at the same time. No. And Jesus never asked us to go make noise. He said, go teach all I've taught you. In Matthew 28, verse 20. He said, go teach all I've taught you, making disciples of all nations. You can't teach the way Jesus wants them to teach, teaching crowd. Crowd is not the purpose of Jesus. It's counterproductive. That's how we have feeble Christians in Nigeria. I do research, DLC. I do a lot of research behind the scene. If you take any under 30 and ask them questions about the centrality of our faith, they don't know. How would they know? Because they're not being taught. Romans 10. 
They don't know. I've asked several people, young people, ask them about the centrality of our faith. They don't know. What do you understand by salvation? They don't know. What do you know about the gospel? They have no idea. But they know mystery of it worship. They know anointing hoy. They know man too. They know scraps. Because you can't relay the way Jesus wanted the disciples to teach in a car of 100,000. You can only proclaim and do prophetic declaration. And you can also cause. It's easy to cause. You don't have to. Any dome you can cause. You can cause in a dome. But talk about teaching. And any, someone can stop you and ask you a question. It's not done in a dome. It's done in a classroom. Dome is not Jesus' Jesus's idea. You know where the inspiration is coming from. The only place where you have thousand people worshipping and shouting, Great is Diana, Great is Diana, is in Acts 19, verse 34 to 35. Between Acts 19 and from verse 30 to 35, you will find the story of Diana. Go read them extra books. You see, that was the only place you have temple in the Bible, in the New Testament. Verse 5. Those who belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoint, and the world listens to them. So you see that we have a lot of work, because the people listening to them, they are also the world. They don't know God. That's why this revolution must continue. People need to know God. If they know God, they will not be comfortable with lies. And hallmark, a test that you are growing is you'll be spotting hell. When you hear, your spirit will pick it. This is wrong. This is wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. There's a woman in a Bible story that said she went to an African church and the pastor was lying and she could not hold it. She said, this guy is lying. The person by her side said, ah, mama, what's going on? So I'm sorry. She didn't know when she said it. <laughs> she has the spirit of truth. If the spirit of truth is resolute, and resident in you, lies cannot mix. They don't mix together. Jesus is the light of the world. Darkness and light don't mix. You can carry Jesus and be comfortable with lies. It's not possible. So if you sit down in those crowds and you are comfortable with lies, I doubt if the spirit of truth is there. So we have a lot of work to do for our families, for your friends, for your brothers. You've got to pray for them because they are sitting in those places and they are comfortable. They are lost. We need to pray for them. We need to pray for them. 